normally get a clap before I've started. Okay, um, lots of you know me from my um, lecturing in design. This is going to touch on some of that, but what I'm actually going to talk about today is a consortium which I'm involved in running, uh, which is the Low Carbon Research Institute Marine Consortium. Our partners are across Wales, and collectively we are looking at all forms of renewable energy from the sea. The group at Swansea is actually bigger than you might think. Uh, this is the Swansea team, and right from professor down to PhD student, and we're all involved in trying to get energy out of this resource that is all around the large coastline. So quite a, quite a big team. Um, you will see some of them up down the corridors. The wider picture is the Low Carbon Research Institute. This was kicked off with funding from the Higher Education Funding Council for Wales, and we then followed that up with a, a regional development project. Um, so we've had about £50 million worth of funding so far across all these sectors. Um, the hydrogen project is run from the University of Glamorgan and their centre at Baglan, but there are people doing hydrogen in all of the universities, and some of our chemical engineers are involved in that project, for example. Uh, there's low carbon buildings run from the Welsh School of Architecture, uh, but also involving other people. Large scale power, combustion, processes and things like that. Uh, PV, bioenergy and education and training. So it's quite a big project of which Marine is a part. What we're trying to do is independent research, the sound science which government can base policy on, um, to create a brand new renewable energy industry in Wales. When I started, the number of people in renewable energy in Wales was about four. Me and my PhD student do of those four. And now it's a business with a handful of companies in it, growing to become something much bigger. And our science is trying to reduce risk. That's environmental risk, technological risk, and financial risk, with the aim to get kit in the water. Our kit might look a bit like this. So this project is being developed in Cardiff, Tidal Energy Limited. Uh, the Marine Current Turbines, they're based in Bristol, but their second array will be in North Wales and Anglesey. And Swan Turbines is a company which was started here at Swansea University, which I was involved with for a while at uh, the moment. So we're trying to take stuff like this, which is a nice CAD model. You start there, you add approximately £50 million, pounds, and you get to there. So this is the Marine Current Turbines device. It's a 1.2 megawatt machine, and that's operating in Stranford Lock in Northern Ireland. They're proposing four or five two megawatt versions of this for the Skerries in Northern Ireland. So a um, fantastically exciting bit of engineering. Those of you that's had the grief of my third year group design project, um, this is the kind of stuff that just gives you a flavour of what that's about. Okay, so LCRI Marine, the project I'm uh, helping to be involved. We've had about £7 million, pounds, half of that in real money, half of it sort of match money, over three years and, in, and in involving about 40 people. About half the team are here at Swansea, the rest in our partners. And we're looking at all sorts of stuff which I'm going to talk about as we go through. Okay, this is our lab. Ramsey Sound, Pembrokeshire. It's a highly protected marine environment. If you can think of a marine protection designation, Ramsey Sound has got it. It's a home to an abundance of marine wildlife. There's a fairly unique seal colony. There's resident harbour porpoise. And all sorts of stuff goes past. And it's the site for Wales's first tidal stream turbines, the Delta Stream, the triangle device we saw earlier. It's hopefully going to be installed there either this summer or next summer depending on how tidal energy go with that project. Okay, my colleagues um, at Cardiff went around and sorted out what it looked like on the seabed. So Paul Evans is a PhD student at Cardiff looking at oceanography. And this is his fly through. So what from the surface looks like a flat patch of water is actually full of lots of islands and rocks and pinnacles and things, which does some quite interesting things to the hydrodynamics on the flow that goes around that. So we're just on the north edge at the moment. Um, is that White Stands Bay? I think, as you come around to the top of the sound, these big lumpy rocks here are a bit of an issue for shipping. And then towards the end of this video, it points down towards uh, the Bitches rocks, which you can just about see there. 
So a highly complicated environment to try and do engineering in. Okay, that's the pitches in the middle of Ramsey Sound. That's flat water. There isn't any obstruction apart from the rocks. And the head difference you can see across here is purely because of the flow rate. 